Hi, I wanted to post my build. I just finished uh, building an electric beach car. Um, I was looking for a while on trying to figure out on, on YouTube on how to build something like this. I'd never done it. Um, and I came across a guy, Ultimate Rebuilds was the first one that gave me an idea on how to, you know, to start going down the path of an electric beach cart. And then I found another guy who had actually built um, a regular wagon out of um, a kid's ATV. So that, that is actually the path I ended up taking was what you want to do is research um, or go on a marketplace or Craigslist and look for something called a Razor Dirt Quad. Um, it's basically a kid's electric ATV. Um, they've been building them apparently for like 10, 12 years anyway. Um, and there's a bunch of them out there, um, at least in my area, um, all over the map on pricing. I, I picked this one up for $140. There's people selling them for 500 So at the end of the day, I wouldn't pay over $200. Um, and um, I'd make sure it's in good shape. I mean, some guys have them sitting outside, you know, for 10 years and they want $600 for them. Other people are putting them in their garage and keeping them clean and selling them for 200. So um, I'd say buyer beware on that one. But um, from a maintenance standpoint, I mean, just make sure it looks somewhat clean. Um, but again, these electric ATVs, they are heavy duty and it basically comes with everything you need um, outside of the cart. So, um, what I basically did was I took um, the kids ATV, I, I cut the handlebars and basically from the, from the fork, from the front forks uh, down, I just basically cut it off here and here. Um, and I welded in a piece of uh, tubing, welded it to the top of the gorilla cart, um, and then bolted it together. Um, I basically, I took some threaded rod, I didn't have one long enough, so I took some threaded rod and put, them, put it all the way through and bolted it up to the top here. Um, put it all in. Um, you can see it's all, it's pretty much complete. I mean, the whole ATV thing is it's pretty slick. Um, motor, everything else is in here. One thing you'll want to change, you don't have to, but um, um, electric. I think I, I uh, what I did was I went, I got a uh, new sprockets made up um, to try to lower the speed. These dirt quads will go eight, nine miles an hour. Um, which would mean if you're walking behind this on a beach cart, you're going to be going about three miles an hour. It's it's running at about a third of the RPMs, and these motors will start overheating because they want to run um, pretty close to full uh, RPM range. So this these motors are uh, um, are geared in a, in a way to be able to make it so that uh, um, there's a lot of torque. So when you put this uh, with a gear reduction uh, on on this specific model, um, these. Uh, this is a 36 tooth sprocket going to a nine inch motor drive sprocket, um, which will bring it to about uh, three and a half, four miles an hour, which is perfect. It's a little fast. I think it goes four, um, but it's got to be three quarter RPM um, anyway, um, um, which is perfect actually. So then what I did was I basically took, uh, again, this is where the kids foot pegs would be. So I built a couple of battery mounts. Um, I had a couple of batteries. It does come with smaller batteries. I, I have a couple of these um, snowmobile batteries sitting here over the summer that I don't use, so I figured I'd put them to work. Um, just could, took some uh, angle iron, put it in there. I did lower the shock um, position. It was up here. I drilled a hole down uh, where you can't see, but it basically to bring it down because the height of the uh, back end was way more than, than the front. Um, coming around the front, I uh, again with that with that gorilla cart. Um, it's like a two by four foot gorilla cart. I'll post in the comments what the uh, where I got. I got it at Lowe's. It was like 150, 160 dollars. Um, the rear axle again, all that stuff you don't use, right? And I actually took the tires that came with the new gorilla cart and I sold them on Marketplace for 50 bucks. So I did get that back. But I took the metal work um, from the gorilla cart rear axle. Cut, um, cut some sections out and welded in some extensions because these tires are a lot bigger than what was on the Gorilla Cart itself and they, they were rubbing on here. So I basically cut it, extended them out, extended the axles um, yeah, and it worked out well. I took um, um, some pieces from, again, the rear, uh, the rear axle. I welded in some stops so that, it, it, so that the wheels can't uh, slam into the uh, into the batteries um, and then lastly I put a new handle uh, on the new gorilla carts are coming with these plastic handles on the top which are junk and um, 
So I went to GorillaMade.com, I think it was. I'll, again, I'll post a link, but for $20, I get this steel one. Um, I basically just cut the other half off, put a uh, um, throttle, a thumb throttle in, brought it down, brought the cabling down. I did, uh, I did want to be able to pull this off so I can get it into my truck. Um, so I, I basically have a quick connect on here, cut the connector off that was on it because it's not long enough to go all the way to the, to the box down below, um, and then soldered all the wires in, um, took the other half of this, put it on this side down here, and then uh, extended it to the, uh, to the controller. So you can see the controller in there. It's all, I mean, again, all this stuff is with the ATV itself. Um, but these control these parts are all dirt cheap. I mean, you can get the controller on Amazon for twenty dollars. I mean, anything that fails, it's uh, very cheap. Um, yeah. So coming around this side, all I did was I, I took the on-off switch was on the ATV, put it here so to turn on and off, and I did uh, put a small ignition switch in here just to. So that if we walk away from this car, I don't have to worry about somebody walking off, driving off with it on the beach. Um, and I basically wired this to the throttle, one of the throttle cables that was in here, because um, the gauge was really light. I didn't want to take this throttle, this, the gauge on this ignition is really light, the wiring. Um, so I didn't want to put it on this thick um, power feeds um, to break that connection because uh, it just, the wire's not big enough. So anyway, I just ran the throttle, one of the throttle wires to here, so it basically disconnects the throttle um, from working. Um, last thing was, I, since this is a 24 volt system, it takes two batteries. These batteries are basically tied together on a plus and a minus. Um, I didn't want to use the charging um, port on the controller on the, uh, from the ATV dirt quad, because uh, it was really light and the cable, the charger was, really light right so i didn't know how long it was going to take plus i didn't trust it charging these batteries because they're quite expensive for my sleds um, so all i do is i basically um, disconnect the two the plus and a minus with this quick connect here and then i just charge them independently i put a couple of connectors here that i can just run my my uh charger to um, at night so it'll charge them up and then i just basically disconnect this and plug the connector back in and i'm good to go all right yeah so that's it the only other thing i did there was a little i haven't finished this but um i just put some uh, uh plates on here to be able to put some half inch pipe to be able to come up so i can hang my uh, hang my chairs off them um, when we're going to the beach all right that's uh basically it um, I can't recommend again more this uh, electricscooterparts.com. So if you guys are going to get parts here, like whether um, it's the gearing or anything else, I mean it's um, they're really helpful when I when I needed some help. They they were pretty quick responding with any questions I had. Um, and then again, I I put these um, two voltmeters I I, I had uh, so I can see what the voltage is on each uh, each battery to make sure that I'm not I'm not cooking. Hundred dollar batteries, um, and there's also USB ports on there, so I can charge phones up at the beach. All right. Other than that, um, that's it. So I think all in. I think I'm probably into this thing for. I don't know. I, I did the math. I think maybe maybe four fifty, four seventy five max. I get the fifty dollars back. I started going crazy with it with the voltmeters and all this stuff. But but I, I think it, I mean if you didn't want to do any of this gear reduction and just deal with it and see how it works. I mean, you, you can get into this almost by using no additional parts other than uh, um, maybe some of this framing and being able to do a little bit of the welding. Um, so again, I'll post in the comments what the parts that I did use on this if you're interested. And um, if there's any questions, please just post them. And I hope this helps somebody out. All right, thanks guys.